What is up, lovely people? Today I'm going to be talking about editing, so if you don't like all that stuff, skrr, skrr. I'll see you, um, I would say next week, but no, yes, I will see you next week because I'm gonna make a video. Anyways, I'm talking about editing and I'm talking about my editing. Like if you're an editor and you're like, whatever, you're just judging me, just go edit your own stuff. I have three different styles of editing. This isn't something I planned out from the beginning. It was just like, I edit these videos differently. I edit these videos differently. And then I edit these videos differently. So the three different videos, I got my vlogs, I got my travel videos, and then I have my skits. Cool story bro. I edit all of those really different and today we're gonna be talking about the the second whichever we're tra we're talking about the travel ones. We'll just break down that clip. Here it is. Back in Just get off the play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Million dollars. So with that video, it was just honestly just shoot everything and see what we get. My travel videos, I don't really storyboard. I don't really storyboard at all. If you don't know what a storyboard is, I'm talking so fast, I don't know why. People storyboard just to save them time. Like they'll put up something like that. If Sorry. As you can see, I don't even know what a storyboard is. Don't storyboard for travel videos. You can if you can. Shut up, this is my video. Don't storyboard because I feel like it eliminates your creativity because if you're like, I got this plan to shoot this and something like amazing happens, the world blows up, you're like, mm, that's not in my plan. Then you won't capture it. Well, you'll probably be dead, but I don't do it. Capture as much as I can and then create my story in the thingy. I edit on Premiere Pro. Some people use Final Cut Pro. Some people use Movie Maker. Some people use, what's the Microsoft one? Make a movie. And the reason why I'm not taking you guys in it and like showing you a screen record of how to do this and that. Like, when I first opened that, I was like, what? I don't want to scare anyone off from editing because if you're not familiar with like editing at all, when you open it, it's a bit scary. So we are going to talk about how we like behind Oh, sorry, I don't even know what we're talking about. My editing process, if that makes sense. Not the technical side of things. So, if you didn't know, I love the art of storytelling. The way I tell a story is through a camera. And that clip it has a beginning, middle, and an end. My beginning is when I wake up, go to the airport, and travel. My middle is the whole kayaking, the seal. That's like, oh, mean, mean, mean. My ending is when the day's over. It's, what I want to be able to do is go through life and bring you with me. Oh, shit. That was deep. Back it up. I don't want you guys to feel that you're just watching a video. I want you to be like, we are traveling. We are going kayaking. We are going to sleep together. Sorry? Keep it short. Like, yeah, you got a bridge. Wow. Okay. Okay, I've seen the bridge. I get it. You don't got to show us your bridge for like 15 seconds of the video. Just put it. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 oh. Get it. I'm not gonna sit there and watch a 15 minute travel video. Hey, but some people do like those long videos. And if you do, you probably have a lot of time on your hands. So like I said in the beginning, I capture everything. I'll go through all my footage, like the raw footage, and I'll grab just the best parts. Let me give you an example. So here's the whole video. I like this part to this part. So I'm going to cut that out, put that here. Move on to my next clip. Which part do I like? I like this part to this part. Take that out and put that here. That's pretty much what I mean. Again, don't be scared by the freaking software I'm using. I do that for all the clips that I took that day and I put it to the side and then boom, the most important part ever is finding music. I could spend like three hours finding a perfect song because I got it in my head. I'm like, I want it to be like this with this beat, I want drums, but then that's just me. I'm really picky about music because as you can see with my jump cuts as well, I cut to the beat. So it's like horns, dun dun dun. And you got to groove. It's pretty much dancing. So you white people are gonna sh Hey, just joking, just joking. But yeah, so it's dancing, it's like hitting that beat. Horn! That is just how I do it. You got your music ready and then you drag your footage that you cut earlier from your raw footage. You just pick it up and uh, 
drop it on top of the music and then adjust it dance with the beat oh dun, dun, dun. that is pretty much how i do my travel videos quick summary don't storyboard capture as much as you can have fun with it nah everyone says that have a story beginning middle end don't focus on yourself it's not about you no one cares about you don't be like oh look at these mean mountains we want to show us the mountains man that is a quick overall Overrue. Gotcha. That is a quick overview on how I edit my travel videos. Uh, if this was helpful, just say, hey, that was helpful. So, yeah. See you next time.